Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Just My Imagination by The Temptations. Uh, the Stones did a version of this too, but that one's a little bit different. Alright, this is the original, uh, as far as I know. Alright, you're going to need only three chords for this song. I kept it in the original key. You need a C chord, 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret. I'm going to mute that 6th string. Okay? Uh, I'm going to need a D minor 7 which is I'm going to bar the first two strings, so one and two at the first fret, and I'm going to hook my second finger over onto the third string, second fret, uh, open fourth string. If you hit the fifth string open, you'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to get my thumb up and kill that sixth string in case I nick it by accident. Like I said, the fifth string's okay if it's in there. Okay? Those are your that's the basic, uh, that's basically the song right there, those two chords. There's only one other part uh, where there's a G7 that comes in, and you could just do the first string, first fret, the fifth string, second fret, and then the sixth string, third fret. That G7 chord, that'd be fine. If you want to put that in there. Okay. Alright, so let's talk about, I will do the lead part. That'll be at the end of the video if you're looking for that. Okay, we're going to talk about the rhythm part first. Uh, when, the, when the song starts, uh, you just start on a C chord. And that's pretty much your strum for the entire song. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And you're going to stay on that C chord, and there's, there's like a guitar solo um, that you'll hear that isn't very loud, by the way. But anyway, it's there, and um, you're playing the C chord for like five measures. It's a little awkward. It's not an even number. Uh, so you're just kind of hanging out on the C chord for five measures, okay? And then, and then, uh, and then you kick into your groove. That's when the guitar comes, uh, kind of disappears in the mix. Uh, the lead guitar does, and then you're playing a C to a D minor seven. So I, t I guess technically you're playing the C for six measures. Uh, but I sort of think of that first five measures as like the guitar solo part that you're just backing up, okay? So that's just a C chord. I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> it's just hanging on a C chord. But then when you hear the groove come in, the lead guitar cuts out, and then it's just, this is almost the rest of the song, is a C to D minor 7. So a measure each, or a pattern each, if you will. And he does that two times, and then that's the whole intro. Okay? The strum I'm using is the wagon wheel strum. The down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's one pattern, okay? So here's the whole intro for the rhythm. It's just a C. a verse, okay? And the verse is just the C and D minor 7. You just go back and forth between the two and you do that like eight times. That's uh, each day through my window. He watches her as she passes by. So you're going to do that eight times in a row. Okay, I'm not going to do that. And then just my imagination, the chorus part, that's still just a C to a D minor 7. Times and that's your chorus. Then you go back, the verse, and a second verse comes in, so you do it eight more times, and then the, another chorus comes in and you do it four more times. So you're just hanging on that groove for the whole song until it gets to the bridge, which is every night on my knees I pray. You know, that part right there. That's the bridge. Uh, it's wicked simple. You just stay on a C chord for six times, six patterns.
Alright, so it's wicked simple. You got your intro, you got your verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, which is the only part that's really different, and then the outro chorus. Okay? So hopefully that was clear enough. I don't know. It's pretty clear to me, but uh, let me know. Alright, now for the lead part. Alright, so the lead part uh, is just this riff here. I'll show it to you. string fifth fret I'm gonna use my third finger for it uh, and I'm gonna bend it it's just like a half step bend and then you just bring it right back to where it was and then you go back to the fifth string third fret then you go five three five three oh no five three five three that's it so after the bend fifth string third fret fifth string fifth fret third fret sixth string fifth fret back to the fifth string third fret okay so and then he takes the third finger on the fifth string fifth fret and he slides it twice really quickly up to the seventh fret like and then he ends up on the fifth string third fret okay so it's like this okay make sense all right, now this next part, you, you can, I can simplify it if you like. Uh, it sounds like um, the guitar might be garbled with uh, some sort of keyboard or something there, but that's what the overall sound is, so that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, fifth string, uh, third fret, and I'm going to bar the fourth string, third fret, uh, at an angle. Uh, let's see, how's it do it? That's it. Yeah, so... So this third finger cannot come in, uh, he's got he's to come in on such an angle that he's missing the fourth string completely. Because I'm hitting the five and the fourth string at the same time, uh, at the third fret, and at the same time I'm doing like a Hendrix type uh, hammer, like that, on the fifth string, fifth fret. Okay? Then you go back to the fifth string, third fret, and then back to the sixth string, uh, fifth fret, and then I hear this, fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, at the same time. So my pick's got to go through those two strings. So that sounds like, okay, easier to play than to, to uh, describe. Okay, so uh, if you want to simplify that, just don't bar the fourth string and just go, just do that. So all I'm doing is uh, fifth string third fret, and I'm hammering the uh, fifth string fifth fret back to the third fret, sixth string fifth fret, and then back to the fifth string third fret. So simply it would be, but I hear more fuller sound. Okay, so from the top now. Next time he plays, he does the same thing he did at the beginning, fifth string, fifth fret, and he bends it a half step, back to the fifth string, third fret. Let's see, what's he do here? So all of that's the same, uh, and then he goes like this. So that's fifth string, five, three, and then sixth string, five, three, and he pauses for a moment. So. Let's go over that. Okay, so up until, you know, the right there, that was the same as the first lick. So, fifth string, fifth fret, man, fifth string, third fret, and then fifth string, fifth fret, uh, third fret, sixth string, fifth fret, fifth string, third fret, and then you slide. Five to seven on the fifth string, end up on the fifth string third fret, and now you just go fifth string five three, and then sixth string five three. Okay, so now the solo up until that point. Okay, then the end of the 
the solo, he just goes. So he just bends that fifth string, fifth fret, fifth string, third fret, and then fifth string, five, three again, and then six string, five, back to the fifth string, third. Boy, it's hard to yell those numbers out and get them right, but anyway, it's much easier to play. So this is what it sounds like. It's the, it's the episode where uh, it's Toby's last day and he's about to go to Costa Rica and so Jim gives Phyllis some money for fireworks and stuff and they have like a carnival in the parking lot and, uh, and Jim, this is the song that's playing as Jim is about to propose or he's thinking about it, he's got the ring out and um, you know, so she can't see it and then uh, Andy beats him to it when he, uh, uh, he proposes to Angela. <laughs> can't remember their names. So anyway, uh, he proposes in a later episode, don't worry. But anyway, uh, that's this is the song that's playing in the background, uh, which is what gave me the idea to do it <laughs> when I saw the episode. All right, uh, any questions, uh, comments below, please subscribe, play more guitar, and use your imagination.